start so out. So the leader <laughs> can pose a question, and then someone's going to raise their hand, and then you can say. Start out, I was wondering what everybody's standpoint is before and after you read the article. Mine personally was before that we needed to change the laws and after even stronger that we need to change laws in some way. Before I read the article, um, I thought we needed stricter gun laws in some areas, and um, my, that opinion was enforced to an I, 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 I don't think that's true. Before I read the article, I thought that we needed stricter <laughs> gun laws, but after, I was I had less of a feeling that we had because of the article. Yeah. What's your view? What was your viewpoint after reading after that? Oh, do you want the gun laws to change? Right? The gun laws. I want those gun laws to change. Why? Because mentally ill people shouldn't be able to buy guns. Good point. What other solutions do you think there are? Because it was mentioned mm -hmm. that we have more seizures along with having gun laws. Do you guys have any ideas for what schools and the community do? Well, there are more to have the gyms and then they can Dawn, Dawn, can you become really quiet? I can't even hear you. For them to do that, they have to change the law. Yeah, well, you can actually just do it. No, because Mr. Dude said he made a law that um there's not like strict background checks. Well, they were talking about um, yeah, they were just talking about the gun laws. Specific solutions. I understand your point though. So. I was also going to ask what you guys thought. It talked about the NRA and how they were um, acting about this topic. And I wanted to know if you thought it was fair. Because personally, I kind of thought that they were influenced by government. And if we did change laws, it would affect them. It could negatively affect them, positively affect them. So, I don't know if you guys think that it's fair that they're opposing this. Well, assault rifles are I think they're being a bit, like the laws on them should have been changed dramatically though, so then it's going to go and it's not going to be positive and effective. It's going to be negative. Yeah, I think, um, there are a lot of people who 
work for the NRA and it could negatively affect them, they could lose money, but at the same time, some of the people who work for the NRA have children and if they really think about it, their children are in schools, they're putting their children's lives in danger too. So that's yeah. scary, so it's positively and negatively. Also, I was wondering how would any of you guys feel if you were in the student's shoes to the Stoneman Douglas shooting happened to him? Yeah. I said that would be terrifying and I would literally start crying. And that's not a very good situation to be in. And also, your friends could be out there. I would definitely be uh, supporting stricter guidelines. Getting involved in protests and government. I would be able to go back to that school. Yeah. And the thing that there are so many people who, well, like people in the government community who just refuse to change these laws, I would be terrified. I don't know if I'd be able to go back to school. I feel like that would be really bad. Should I? Um, like just like he said, he said like how he was like how he like he would visualize it. Like I would be really scared if I was in that situation. And like like she said, I wouldn't come back like to school. Yeah. My mom would most likely school me. Yeah. She would never want me to go to cemetery. That's the one too. Never seen it. This has to do with government officials getting a lot of money from the NRA being influenced by that rather than um, the facts of both sides. I think they're just more focused on keeping their money from the NRA. Hmm. Do you know why politicians need money? No. I'm asking Peter. Does anyone know why they need money? To run for their political campaign? Like, they get money to run. And it's very, very, I, I don't know the exact statistic, but they need thousands and thousands of dollars a day. So the NRA gives politicians that they agree with a lot of money. So it helps keep their power, if you will. Sidetrack, but I was reading articles on the New York Times, mm -hmm. and they talked about how the NRA had been paying millions of dollars for years, and obviously, if he wasn't like expressing their beliefs, they were keep paying him that way. Yeah. Good point. Should I talk about the event? Sure. Now listen to this. She had a different article, guys. I'm curious to see your thoughts on this. So, I read an article that talked about teachers being armed and how it could help the president and some politicians' beliefs on it. Um, president Trump says that if there was a school shooting and a teacher had a gun, they could end the attack very quickly. But what I had to say to that was, well, I just questioned it because I really can't imagine very many teachers who would want to kill somebody, especially if that, if that person is a student or a former student. That would be terrible. And I know I would like, I would be so guilty for the rest of my life. I wouldn't be able to do it. So, I think that, that is true, but I'm, I'm not really for teach, teachers being armed, but um, to stop someone uh, who is harming you using a firearm doesn't, uh, it, like, it doesn't have to involve killing someone. Um, 
need to stop something it doesn't necessarily have to be a bullet in a lethal if they're going all crazy about the guns being in the school and shooting and they shouldn't even be guns in the school what are some reasons that you can support that like well, why maybe the teacher has a disability or like they would have a little bit of disability What's a problem, too, that you could see happening? Let's say the gun is in a locked box that nobody even knows about, and there's an active shooter, and let's say I have to get the gun. What would happen to you guys? We would think you're the shooter, and we'd be like, uh, yeah. So there could be confusion? confusion. What would happen to you guys if I had to go leave? You, I'd be leaving you alone. What would happen if I made a mistake? Yeah, you can lose control and shoot somebody else. Yeah. It's like, what if you don't know how to get used to the gun? Good. I just wanted you to come up with some reasons about why it could be bad. This is just, like, personal, but I have a fear of weapons and guns mm. in general. And knowing that my teacher has a gun, even if it's locked away, that's really scary. And if it's not well enough secured that nobody can get their hands on it, a student who has a mental disorder or just angry, angry could get their hands on that. So here's my thing. Anyone else want to add, though? Do you want to add anything? <laughs> Go ahead. I'm personally not scared of guns and weapons themselves. I'm scared of people. I'm scared of the people who are possessing them, the people who have them. Um, I feel like there's a lot of people um, who should not have um, the ability to own certain firearms and weapons. Does anyone have a question or a response to that? I'm just scared from guns pointing at me and stuff. Like, I don't like that. That's what I'm scared of. That person could use that to go to the school with a weapon or good or bad. Mm -hmm. But you never know what they're going to use it for. So it's even more dangerous in their hands. A good argument that they presented was that well, one of the questions presented was that um, most of the people who own guns are just innocent citizens who want protection. And I get that, but I also, um, I think, well, I know that President Obama put in place certain law or something that got stricter background checks, but recently, before the shooting happened, but it was still pretty recent, um, President Trump kind of was trying to lessen that so that people could get their hands on it easier. And I like, add to that? if we could do, if we could have that law in the past, then we could definitely have it now, and it could work. So I feel like we need to, lawmakers need to have an open mind at this time. Mm. Because, I mean, if we're not trying anything, then nothing's going to change. But if we try something and it fails, we'll know. We can fix it. We just have to do something. When that law was still around, we didn't really hear about too many school shootings. But when you say shit, I'd like to add that that kid has 10 military style rifles, so I feel like something needs to be done. He was 19 years old, and I think that I've been reading some stuff on the New York Times recently about raising the age level to 21, which could be helpful because then students who are angry couldn't shoot. What's the argument against that, though? Um, 
anyone? Um, well, if you can drink at 21, if you can drive at 16, mm -hmm. and if, like that's more like level is with guns. Guns should be like at 25, mm -hmm. something like that. Not like well, but when can kids or when can people your age go to the military? Uh, how old do you have to be? 18. So that's why they say you should be able to get a firearm at 18 because you could go to the military. But you're saying maybe as a civilian that should be different. If they're like 21 or if they like racist, they're going to be more mature. So they won't like use it in a wrong way. But yeah, if they race it, they'll be more mature. I get the argument for like being in the military at 18, but it doesn't make sense if you're not in the military. If you're just a normal person who's not trained to use these weapons, they're like assault style. Are you talking about all guns or assault weapons? No, assault weapons. So you would ban certain guns at the age of 21, is that what you're saying? I just think that some guns just shouldn't shouldn't be able to get their hands on. And you That's all agree? I'm not saying 21 is the age. I'm like saying 25. So <laughs> 25. That's still the same. All right, go ahead, Peter. Um, I don't think certain guns should be banned. I think certain people should be banned from buying mm. certain guns because there are people who really, really enjoy it. Like target shooting. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not one of those people I would something I enjoy. Um, I feel like that's pretty much, other than the military, the only reason why you should own an assault style fire weapon. <laughs> assault style um, firearm. Good point. It's also bump stops, which are not always necessary for like the average person. Because you don't need to have like they're another reason that weapons are so powerful. And they can I don't know, there could be a stricter law on that or they could be banned. It doesn't even matter. But those are a big thing. Anything else to wrap it up? Military style weapons should not be accessible if you're civilian. Like also, like need a license to get a It could have been prevented if like that 19 year old could have had like someone could have helped him because he had like a mental health issue. Like they should have more background checks so it like won't happen as much. So well, he and you do know that he they had intervened with him many times. However, his mom, his, yes, his real mom had died. He was living with, yeah, was living with a different family, and they said, I was watching something, I don't even know, but <laughs> CBS, I don't remember. But they were being interviewed, and they said that they didn't notice anything was wrong. It just seems a little bit suspicious to me because the former students said that they noticed something. They always noticed something. Instagram, too, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, one of my friends outside of school, uh, his dad is a target shooter and he enters a bunch of target shooting competitions. And sometimes I go over to his house and his dad is um, cleaning weapons. Uh, that doesn't scare me because I know that him is But I feel like there should be some sort of license and training that you should go through to own that sort of gun uh, for those reasons. So you think the training should be different for assault rifles? Yes. Okay. Does anyone agree with that? 
some of you think they should just be banned altogether. No, yeah. But that's a good point. Like, yeah. if you're going to have assault rifles in the first place, every other day, 19 year olds shouldn't be able to get hands on them. Or they should be a lot more difficult to get. Okay. Any closing thoughts? We gotta wrap it up. Well, I think we just all did change our. Opinion. Yeah. Did anyone change their opinion at all? Yeah, I didn't change my opinion. But I still think that they should do something with the law. Yeah. Yeah. All the laws, though, because I think it was dicks and like mm -hmm. or something they stopped selling mm -hmm. something like that that's a step down when the kids are having a march on March 24th which I think is getting a lot of attention <laughs> yes <laughs> yeah. go ahead I've seen um, certain weapons that I don't feel comfortable with uh, being in that store at Walmart and um I don't feel like the average 18-year-old should be able to stroll into Walmart and walk out with a gun. Um, I feel like certain vendors should not be able to sell those, like Walmart, for example. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Wait, so Walmart actually sells guns? I seriously did not know that. Yeah, I did not know that. Well, I didn't either. I, yeah. Until I read this article about them banning it. That's scary. Okay. Well, nice job, guys. We're going to 